Hi everyone, this is KK6 Foxtrot Unit from Tango, and I thought I'd put out a short video explaining WWV and how it all relates to radio propagation and the uh, quote unquote atomic clock on your wall. For those who haven't heard of WWV, it's a radio signal that you can actually uh, hear on a multiple of frequencies. It's a 2.5 megahertz, 5 megahertz, 10 megahertz, 15 megahertz, and 20 megahertz, uh, and that's dot zero 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 zero. It's very very accurate. Um, it's put out by the United States National Institute of Standards of, and Technology, NIST. And uh, it gives you the time and some other information, both in voice format as well as encoded into radio signal. So this is on 15 megahertz, which seems to be doing well today. So um, some of the uh, higher bands might be in right now. And that's on 10 megahertz. Not quite as loud. And I don't think we'll be able to hear 5 because it's during the middle of the day. And uh, those bands usually propagate at night. So, yeah, nothing there today. Um, so, uh, WWV is actually pretty old technology. Uh, the NIST apparently started broadcasting WWV back in the 1920s. But it's actually fairly useful today. If you're a radio amateur and you want to understand whether or not the bands are open, um, you know, there's this is a high powered station, of course, but at least you can figure out if you can hear WWV on 15 megahertz that everything below there or around there is probably working uh, 10 megahertz and 5 megahertz. So it's a, it's a good uh, way to figure out um, what bands are open. Uh, as I also mentioned, uh, WWV is also very relevant if you have an uh, atomic clock or so called atomic clock. Uh, those self-setting atomic clocks aren't atomic at all, and what they actually are doing is listening for WWV, decoding what time it is, and uh, synchronizing your clock to the U.S. Atomic Standard in Boulder, Colorado. So uh, you've actually probably got a WWV receiver if you have any one of those atomic clocks. Uh, as you can hear on this old Radio Shack radio, uh, you can hear an audible click, but there's actually an encoding, sub subcarrier encoding, uh, underneath that, with the with the time. So if you build or fix radios, WWV is actually a great way to align your radio to a known frequency. If you uh, dial in your radio to 10 megahertz, for example you can exactly align your receiver uh, and, and most uh, more modern receivers actually have a way to adjust your reference clock to WWV at 10 megahertz. Anyway, there's a little bit about WWV and hope you uh, learned something today and thanks for watching. This is KK6 Fox Trot Unit from Tango.